Hey guys, it's Jaden and I'm back. Today I'm talking about a very special hidden gem that I think that I don't think enough people are talking about and that is Legendary. You can find it on HBO Max and here's why I love it. I'm a person who grew up on dance shows. I really loved America's Best Dance Crew. That was my gig. I grew up watching Jabberwockies and Kaba Modern and um, Kinja and um, we are heroes and it transitioned into me watching like dance competitions like I still remember from like I think it was like 2012 ish I believe like um, when shit kings came into body rock and it was only four of them and they beat everybody they were uh I, I love dance shows so I also really like the idea and everything that is ballroom uh, I also think that, you know, within like 2020, we're finally getting to that point where Baldwin has ha finally broken out of being just this underground movement and it's been trying to break through and become that medium, that cultural moment. Um, and we're finally at that point. And that is basically what Legendary is. You have houses from iconic houses, essentially. Like you have the House of Ebony, House of Ninja. You have like just a bunch of like ballroom houses who are just competing for essentially a prize at the end of the. Um, competition. I don't know why I just blanked on that word. Essentially, every episode's like a ball. And you have like a theme. And it's just like a. It's just like a ball. Essentially, I really do want to go to a ball one day. Like I don't know where they are in Texas, but I really want to go. And I just want to say, like, this is so much fun. I love this show, hands down. I think it is so much fun. You're you're getting into like just a lot of different aesthetics. You're seeing. Um, the representatives of like the ballroom community of you see basically black and brown people uh, queer black and brown people at that who are just showcasing their art on such a major platform and it's something that I don't think has been done and it's so like awesome to see so many people you know giving their all leaving it on the um, on the stage and just working for like just that goal now I do have a couple of questions overall about like the logistics of like houses and stuff like that but my, my point still stands uh, so the judges essentially are you have Jamila Jamel you have Megan Thee Stallion La Roche and Laomi Maldonado uh, Laomi Maldonado as she'll let you know in every single episode um, she is ballroom she is the face of ballroom she is just ballroom um, you have La Roche. I think he's a hater but um, honestly I'm starting to sip a little of his hater and I kind of get what he's looking at so uh, but La Roche is there. Megan Thee Stallion, a little confused as to why she's there. Uh, in a sense of like, not not like, I don't know what she brings to the table, but I think she brings a lot to the table in a sense of like, she's somebody who's not from the ballroom community or and is not queer essentially. So she's like, it's giving a different aspect, a different vibe for like somebody who's like all about like hot girl shit and just and being like yourself authentically. And then you have Jamila Jamel, which there's a lot of controversy on why she's on the show. Um, but at the same time, I don't really see that as a controversy. I don't really have a problem with Jamel Jamel. She kind of acts as like a secondary host to the Sean Wesley, who is mainly the like MC of the entire competition. Um, but Jamel Jamel is more of like the host who like explains certain things that Sean. It's really weird. I'll be honest. I don't really understand her role too much. I don't really get it. But that's that. So you essentially have essentially I believe it's like ten houses. Was it ten houses? There's eight houses, I take that back. There's like, currently I'm on the fifth episode and I just finished it and I was like, I have to make this video. There are eight houses. You have House of Balmain, you have the House of Escada, House of Gucci, House of Gorgeous Gucci, um, House of Lan Van, House of Ninja, House of Ebony, House of Saint Laurent, House of West. And it's every week, you know, it's like, you know, they hit the challenge, they do what they're supposed to do, and then they're trying to get, you know, the trophy for the week. And become the I believe like the grand house or what was the term exactly I don't want to get it wrong superior house they want to be the superior house of the episode and I think it is just so interesting and such an interesting take you get a lot of background on like a lot of these people's lives and who they are and it's just really cool to really get into deep of it so 
some of these houses are like iconic. You'll know them from like either like Par uh, Paris is Burning or like if you watch like the documentary like, Kiki or something like that. You'll you'll understand and see like a lot of like old ballroom mixed in with new ballroom, like it's clashed and how it is today. Um, like House of Ninja is an iconic house. House of Ebony is also a very iconic house. House Saint Laurent is also a very iconic house. Like these are iconic houses that have like that grew up in like those um like early on and became like these epic monsters that they are today now i question this aspect because it's kind of to me i think of like how abd how abdc did it how you didn't have all your members who were part of like super crew or jabberwockies competing on abdc and that's my question for the houses right well so like i don't know like how they there's obviously there's a house father and house mother who was on the show and essentially it's like they're, they're part of the team like the team leader essentially the house leader um and then they have all the children underneath them but it's like were these children actually like from their particular house like for example like i'm just gonna take like house of ninja so you have mother dolores ninja like is she the like overall like house mom house mother of house of ninja or is it like they chose her to be the house mother for this show and they asked her to like basically get together like the best people from the team like best people for the team essentially to be in the house for the show and that's my big question because i could see it being like oh we're going to pick our best of the best of the best but at the same time then you have people like house of west which makes me question that because you get into their backstory it's like house of west was started a little later and he, he the, house, the house father house of west he started the the a little late he started the whole house a little later in his life so like it was very difficult they talked about how like it was difficult to start that house and everything like that but I don't know, it's just a really a lot of questions that I have around that aspect of it because I know there's more members in a house than this. And I digress. I just think like this show is absolutely amazing. It is something that everyone should watch. I think it also really expands upon more about black and brown people in these spaces, especially ballroom and like the cultural movement behind it. Like it's like watching like ABDC, but like with more gravitas and like more history that isn't really you know mainstream right it just gets pushed up to the service and that's something that i absolutely like love just watching because just watching their stories and them being authentically themselves and like bringing bringing it to like the stage and the runway or whatever the hell and it's just so absolutely amazing i would say right now my biggest and my favorite team at the moment is House of Ninja. Is they're just doing it. I like the House of Gucci. I like House of Van Van. Honestly, I like them all. Let's not even let's not even spread it up. There's like people in each house where I'm like, you did that every single week. It's just so much fun. Um, like oh my god, I can't even. Oh my god, I just can't even think about it. Like it's just so, it's just so good. Uh, that's pretty much I guess just my whole entire episode. I just think it's an amazing show. I think that for season two, I would love to know like who are the houses that are going to be on it next. Um, and I, you know, that whole question of like, are they just picking members? One last thing. Um, so essentially when they're inside the competition, they're given like a style coach, a performance coach, and I guess they have people who are making like their costumes and stuff like that for them. So it's like basically like, oh, it's a real ball, but like, with a lot of money thrown at it. Like, and a lot of assistance to make them be the best of their best. The, like, to be at their top level. And I think that is an interesting, like, aspect of it. Um, but it's just really fun. They have guest judges, it's great. I don't know, I, I have nothing else to say. Like, this is just a show that should be highlighted more, especially, you know, during, well, right now I'm shooting this in June, so, you know, during Pride and everything like that, because, um, black and brown stories don't get to be told that much, um, essentially, even though, like, yeah, I, I'm not going to get into that, but, like, black and brown stories need to be told, and that doesn't discount, like, everybody that's on, um, that's on, uh, Legendary, but, like, it's just an interesting situation to highlight, like, trans people, and it, it's, it's a show, it's great period point blank you should totally watch totally 
Now, if you've watched Legendary, let me, please, let me know who your favorite house is at the moment. Like, because I told you, I'm living for, Lan I'm living for all of them, but Lan Van, Gucci, uh, Balmain, like, Scott, I mean, there's just aspects of every single house, I'm telling you right now, you'll just love it. And it's just fun, and it's intriguing, and each, the chops, and all that, it's just great. It's great. Anyway, that's my whole thing. That's all I gotta say about it. You totally watch it. Um, yeah. So I'll see y'all. See y'all later. I just wanted to come in and let y'all know what I got, <laughs> what I've been watching. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Bye.